as we enjoy some beautiful sun this afternoon. We had some beautiful frost this morning and that inspired our chief photographer, Chuck Sibley. He was out and about. These images were captured near Orinoco and uh, Ted, it really does make for some beautiful photography here. It is cool to see that, yeah. Even if uh, it is kind of a, a sign that the, the growing season is wrapping up or that we're moving toward winter, but it is kind of cool to see that, especially glistening in the, the, the morning sunshine. And, uh, and especially today when you know that it's going to warm up a little bit. We had the frost for a while, but now we're looking at something a little warmer today and uh, we have that beautiful blue sky to go with it. So frost first thing and now we are on to blue skies and 50 degree temperatures uh, this hour. So we have uh, some uh, very fall like things happening here uh, this week moving along. But here's a blue sky as we look outside to the west with our Lewiston Auto camera. Not a cloud to be seen outside. We started the morning with by far the coldest conditions since last Last April, 32 in Rochester, officially at the airport. The, the morning low temperature was 28 this morning in Dodge Center, Owatonna 27, and Mesa City 29. So we ought to have cold numbers and otherwise a lot of 30s across the map. Winona 36, not nearly as cold there. Uh, 50s yesterday afternoon, temperatures uh, dropped into the 30s as we saw, and now a nice recovery. Just a couple of hours ago, we were in the 30s. Now we are in the 50s, looking at a beautiful afternoon of some uh, fairly tame winds. Temperatures again, 30s this morning, Rochester 32. 29 in Mesa City, 27 in Spencer, and it was 32 in Redwood Falls. But uh, those are some more regional temperatures. This hour, locally, Rochester 52 is 54 in Winona and Mesa City 52. We'll tack on a few more degrees and enjoy a sun-filled fall day. Uh, dew point 32 and the winds 13 miles per hour out of the northwest. Maybe just a little bit lighter than they were yesterday. Temperatures just a little bit warmer. A slight uh, improvement overall. We'll see a slightly uh, improved day again tomorrow as we continue to just build a little more warmth and enjoy some more of the sun for at least one more day. But right now there is one storm system slowly pulling away to the east. Have clouds across parts of Wisconsin, uh, Michigan. Uh, there have been some showers there. Those are moving out. But high pressure is dominating the region now, and we'll continue to do that for another day and a half or so before we do see those inevitable changes. And those will come in for Thursday, and we see those hold on into the weekend. Windy conditions, clouds, showers, and quite a bit of rain, in fact, in our future. But right now, future track looking very pleasant, very peaceful. We enjoy some sunshine today, that crisp northwest breeze, but temperatures today in the mid, and in some cases, maybe the upper 50s. Tonight, uh, temperatures drop off pretty quickly with a light northeast breeze. Uh, readings in the low 30s, maybe a couple 20s. It's very possible. Some of those localized pockets. Then tomorrow, a light east wind. Even as just as much sunshine, really as much as today, and a little more warmth building it. So we're talking upper 50s, low 60s across the map. The warmest day of the week, uh, maybe one of the sunniest days, but high clouds do come in by evening tomorrow. And by the time we get to Thursday morning, we begin to see the showers from the southwest, slowly spilling into the area. Scattered showers off and down throughout the day on Thursday, especially in the afternoon, and it's heading into Friday even wetter than that. So temperatures the next 24 hours, mid 50s today, low 30s tonight, and right back into the 50s by this time tomorrow, and even more warmth building in for the afternoon tomorrow. We do see those rain chances. Scattered showers Thursday, more widespread rain on Friday, maybe a rumble of thunder or two with some downpours. Some pretty raw winds too. And Saturday, uh, instead of a breezy day, maybe a brief shower very early in the day. And these wind gusts will be on the rough side. It's Thursday and Friday, uh, 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts. Winds themselves sustained around 20 miles per hour. It's still kind of a breezy Saturday. And rainfall amounts kind of impressive. The possibility more than two inches in a big part of the area, or at the very least an inch. But I do see the possibility that we could see two or more inches of rainfall in those two or two and a half days. Today, though, a quiet, a peaceful fall day, 56, mostly sunny. Northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear. Some areas of frost after midnight, a low of 33 and light southwest winds. And tomorrow, sunny again, a lighter wind and a not really pleasant uh, Wednesday. Last really last hurrah, shall we say, before we uh, look at, we delve into the murkiness. That is the end of the weekend. That's going to be a breezy, unsettled and a gray stretch of weather, low 50s. And then the weekend itself, maybe a spotty shower early Saturday, drier, but otherwise breezy and kind of cool. And next week, it's going to take a while to climb out of this hole. Uh, uh, 60s would be typical or right around 60, even in the next week. And we may may take until next Wednesday or Thursday to see something similar to mm -hmm. those seasonal numbers. Uh, so about five, six solid days of cooler than average weather and some breezy, chill conditions. Well, we do know we have another Twins game tomorrow at Target Field, so I'm well, glad the sun's going to stick around for that. That was great, yes.